Hi, I'm Debbie Yeomans and I'm a Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator. Today I am featuring these lovely little boxes. They're the Love You Always Treat boxes as part of my product spotlight today. They can be found on page 11 of our new mini catalogue um, for the January, June 2021. Um, so let me show you how they come. They come in a pack of 10 and you get the base and a little slide bit so as you can see they just a little push out slide box you don't need any adhesive to put it together you just need to make sure that you have folded along all the score lines before you start putting it together so the first thing you do is the sides so you bring those side bits in and you tuck this little side bit over with the flap and you just push it in so it looks like that and you do that on both sides so it's now looking like that and then you do this side so all three are sitting in and that just you fold it down and they're all sitting like this this last bit has a little lug on the top here so when you push it in fold it in and it just pushes into place and there you have your base of your box and you can just slide it in and that's how quick and easy those little boxes are to put together now to decorate it i have used one of the free celebration paper picks and bundles in our celebration catalog the berry blessings because it bundles and coordinates nicely with the sweet strawberry bundle in the mini catalogue as well. <clears throat> so I've taken some designer series paper and cut it at 9 inches by 4 inches and then just starting at the side where the join is I have just wrapped it around so I can get the idea of where it's going to crease and then crease all those down on those little lines that have been created there. Okay. And then using some Tombow glue, the multi-purpose glue, I'll just put a little bit of adhesive along the edge here. There we go. And start with that little lip on the edge. And then pull it around nice and tight. And you might want to just add a little bit of extra adhesive around the box just to hold the paper on and wrap it back around and then on this last panel here just a bit more adhesive to stick that down and that is how quick and easy it was just to add that and then to finish it off I've stamped three strawberries and punch them out from the sweet strawberry bundle and you then fold them in half like so and stick them together with a bit of the glue again so you just lay three strawberries on top of each other lining them all up Okay, and then when that is dry, they'll fold out and make a, a 3D strawberry. So all I need to do then is put some adhesive on the back and stick it down. And you've, there's another little product here, which is a new product as well. And that is these lovely stitched outline, the stitch with whimsy dies. They don't actually cut out that shape, but they give you that beautiful stitched 
um, edging around. So that is how quick and easy it was to put that little box together. It makes a great little gift for somebody. And for in my case, uh, a door prize for my launch that's coming up. I hope you um, are inspired to do some gift box wrapping. Thank you.